Yeah, Andrew, you have the last question. Thank you, Mayor. On the subject of the border and the Texas Guard, mm -hmm. I, I understand you know you want to refer some of these questions to DHS because mm -hmm. DHS you know, controls the Border Patrol. But at a certain point, Texas Guard, Texas National Guard soldiers, and National Guard soldiers from other states <coughs> are being used to frustrate federal authority. They are being used to get in the way of federal immigration enforcement and to flout a court order from a federal court. At what point does the president step in and say, enough of that, these are American soldiers, I am federalizing the National Guard and ordering them to let the Border Patrol do their jobs because they took an oath to the Constitution and I am their commander in chief. When does that, when does enough become enough? So I'll say this, I'm not gonna speculate on any actions the president could, could use. I'm just not. I, I'm not, I'm just not gonna do that. Uh, it is very clear, uh, and I would remind everyone that uh, the circumstances under which the federal uh, government can mobilize a state's national guard are outlined in the law, right? So that I'll leave that there, uh, but I'm just not going to uh, get into speculations on any actions the president's going to take at this time. And I'm going to reiterate, I'm going to reiterate, is these Republican governors actually cared about doing something to, uh, to deal with the challenges at the border? about doing something, real meaningful actions, right, to deal with the immigration system that's been broken for decades under Democrats, under Republicans, not just this president, then they would they would reach out to their representative, their congressional representatives, you know, their senators and congress members in their state who they I'm assuming they know well. I'm assuming they've worked with them on issues that that deals with the federal 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 government. They should talk to them and say, "Hey, we need you, Congressman X, we need you, Senator X, in my state to work with Congress, to work maybe with the senators who are the Republican and Democrat senators who are doing this process, going through the negotiations. We need you to work with them so that we can fix, so that we can deal with the challenges at the border. That's an, that's an easy ask. That is not difficult. That is something actually easy to do. It does not take much work from them to make those requests and to talk to their congressional members that they probably talk to and speak to about many other issues as it relates to their state and the federal level. I understand yeah. you're talking about the political process. It's not a political process. Wait, 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 hold on a second. It's not a political process for a governor in their state to talk to their congressional members about taking legislative actions. That's not politics. That's just the right thing to do on behalf of their constituents. I, I that is I'm not politics. Me, what I'm, what no. I'm saying is that this appears to be a concerted effort led by the governor of Texas and joined by Republican governors, encouraged by the Republican likely nominee for president, who I know you cannot talk about up there, to flaunt, to flout federal authority, to undermine federal authority, and. You, you don't seem to be willing to say that the president will uphold the authority of the federal government. So I've already answered this question multiple times, and I'm happy to repeat myself to you, Andrew. Number one, the president has taken this incredibly seriously, incredibly seriously. When you have a president for their first legislative action is to deal with immigration and put forth a comprehensive plan to Congress because that's the way you're going to actually deal with this issue three years ago. Three years ago, Andrew. And no action has been taken by Congress. When you have a president that has been uh, working with negotiators via obviously his team here with Republicans and Democrats in the Senate to have a real conversation to talk about, in good faith, to talk about comprehensive ways to deal with policy, comprehensive ways uh, to deal with funding, to deal with the immigration system. That's a president that's taking it very seriously. The president had Republicans and Democrat leaders here and ranking members of those committees. Uh, in that conversation, it was, had to deal with Ukraine. But that came up as well. And the president said, it is important for Congress to act. We have been saying this. If you have a Republican governor that is playing political stunts and continues to do that, and put actually the border patrol agents in harm's way and preventing them to do their job, that's a political stunt. We're gonna call that out too. 
DHS has taken action, DOJ has taken action. That's a president that's taking it really seriously. I can't speak to DOJ actions, obviously, but that those things are being taken very seriously because Border Patrol agents need to get to the area to do their jobs, to enforce <laughs> the law. So if you think about it, you're asking about our legal authority. The governor is literally getting in the way of Border Patrol agents to do their jobs enforcing the law. That's a problem. And that's something for him to answer. Guys, I got to go to a meeting with the president. Have a great Friday, guys.